Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today, today is going to be a good day. We are actually going to buy a new car. As you've probably seen, I've been drifting my E36 Compact lately, but that only has like 100 horsepower, and we all know that's way too low. I mean, I can have a lot of fun in the car, but I do need some more power. So I have actually been thinking about engine swapping this car to get some more power or just simply buy a new car. Today is the day we are going to buy my first actual drift car and I am super excited about this. Oh, usually I just drift the cars I drive on the streets, but now we are going to buy a full on drift car with a lot of cool mods and it's actually a BMW and it's not any BMW, it's another BMW E36 and it has a turbo. So I am super, super excited about this car. This will be so much fun, so I can't wait to get this car home and take it on the track and have a lot of fun with it. The engine in this E36 is actually quite unusual. It's not your typical E36 turbo engine. So go down in the comment section below and guess what kind of engine it is. And I will pick one of you out to win a Father Film sweater that I will send to you in the mail. So go down in the comment section below right now and guess what kind of engine you think it is. Or you can wait till later in this video and hear the car actually start up if you want to maybe hear then what kind of engine, engine it is. But now we have a three hour uh, drive ahead of us. The car cannot be driven on the roads so I will have to pick up a car trailer and we're going to drive the BMW X3 because that's only, or wait, it's not only the car that has like a tow hitch or tow hook. Uh, my compact also does have that, but I don't think the towing capacity is enough to pull a trailer with this little car. <laughs> so now I'm really ready to get on the road and watch the, and see the car for the first time. Hopefully I will buy it today. If I don't buy it, you will probably never see this footage. So yeah, we're gonna buy it. Remember to subscribe and like this video. And now I am very ready to get on the road and meet my new drift car. Oh yeah, locked and loaded and ready to go. getting closer by the minute. We have been driving for almost three hours now and we are soon at the destination to see the car for the first time. Let's cross our fingers that the car is yeah, good. I mean, it's a track car or a drift car, so I don't care that much about it. It does have some dents that I know and uh, it's not in the most perfect condition, but I think it would be good enough for a good drift car. So uh, yeah, let's go there now and hopefully we can make a good deal on it. One eternity later. Oh yeah, we bought it. Now, time to get it on the trailer. Okay, can you guess the engine? Take a listen to this.
Okay, here it is, my BMW E36 drift car. Somebody, not me, has been doing a lot of wrenching on the car and now I can enjoy the car and drive around and just wear out tires in the back while having a lot of fun. So this will be super, super nice. I mean, we have, let's have, let's do a quick walk around on the car. So as you see right here, we have an M3 front bumper and it's not original as you can see right here because it's the offset uh, I think these are 5 series offset wheels but nevertheless as you can see it's quite far out because this has an angle kit and that's pretty cool so it has a lot of steering angle that's really nice and it has a welded diff in the back a 444 welded diff it has a 3 inch exhaust with a muffler on the back right here and we can come to the best bit. Let's call this the office, the interior. Yeah, it's packed with parts right now. Uh, he actually wanted to keep his steering wheel, so I brought my classical side film steering wheel, which I have in the car right now. So yeah, that's right. I have already been doing some wrenching. But yeah, we have here some Sparco bucket seats, which are looking pretty cool in my opinion, with some racing harness belts. Those are five points or five point harness belts. Those are pretty cool and I sit really good in these seats. It's also a cage. We also have a cage right here in the back. That's pretty cool. I got some axles and stuff also within, with the deal. Here we have a really cool looking shifter right there. And we also have a hydraulic e-brake right there with a pump and everything. So I mean, this is going to be so good. I am so excited about ripping that e-brake while sitting in the harness in that good Sparco bucket seat. I mean. This will be so good. I mean, he has been driving this car for two years at the track and you can tell it does have a couple of love scratches and love marks uh, from other guys probably hitting the door and stuff. But I mean, this car is so cool. I don't care about that. That's so cool. Like battle scars, that's okay. So he has actually been using this car quite a lot for the last two years. And it's been working very good for him. So hopefully it will be working pretty good for me. We got some parts with the car as well. I got some more axles right here. And we also got some, this is our for like 318, but they are drum brakes in the back. So this is for having the uh, brake rotors if you want to rebuild that. So maybe I'm going to do that on my compact, I don't really know. I got a transmission on here that can reveal a little bit about, about what engine this is, if you recognize what kind of transmission this is. But uh, yeah, not your typical transmission. But yeah, and we can see the cage from behind. Look at that. So cool, really cool in the red as well. Love it. It is time to take the car home and I am so excited. Well, I can't drive it on the road, but I'm going to drive it on track and I'm going to drive so hard. And I mean, driving my compact with 100 horsepower, that's not super good. So driving with a lot of horsepower, this is going to be good. It has like 300, 350 horsepower around that. And yeah, I think that'll be plenty. And it only weighs 1,150 kilos. That's very light. Time to continue the journey with the BMW X3 we have right here and then get it safely home. the GoPro on the side of the road so now let's collect it again we actually drove really far to find a way where we can turn back down then turn back down again then we found this pocket where we can park at by the side of the road and now we'll have to travel yeah far <laughs> down here I think it's actually like over there the GoPro hopefully it's not ruined or broken but yeah let's go fetch it Six and a half hours later. Two thousand years later. Uh, are we there? Yes, it was over there. Now it's here. It's mostly been driving somebody. Okay. Well, uh, it's off. But, uh, <laughs> 
It's a bandaid. Oh no. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> Is it broken though? No. I think it's fine. Nice. <laughs> Maybe it's working! Oh yeah, survived from the dead! <laughs> Sweet! Then we can go back. I think this thing broke, but that's okay. Now time to go back. At least we found the GoPro! That's good, and it's working. It's just a broken that case, but that, that doesn't matter. I can buy a new one. Good stuff! What a long day. Almost, now we have like, been driving for like five hours today or something. And we're into the final hour right now to get home. So, soon we're home. But now, I am really ready to get home. Let's actually just do it the YouTube way and get home right there. There we go. Now the car is back home again. That's really nice. So now it's time to get it off the trailer safely. And then we can park it next to my other E36. Looking pretty good. I really like the setup though. E36 drift car on the back. And BMW X3 in the front. We like this. It actually looks, whoa, damn, that dent looks hardcore on camera it does not even this angle is terrible let's yeah now clean <laughs> perfect you can't even tell god damn angles has a lot i mean look at it from here so bad <laughs> yeah whatever it's a drift car doesn't matter okay let's get it off the trailer Good. Look at that wide front end, looking super cool. And a lot of camber. I've been getting some comments lately about getting some camber, getting an E36 and then getting some camber. Now we have it. Look at all that negative camber. Looking good. Oh, and I really like that cage in red in there with the sparkle bucket seats. Mmm, looking minty fresh. Again, we got the track car and we got the street car. Oh, yeah, perfect harmony. This is going to be so good. I am very excited about this. Ah, it's back home. If you have not gone in the comment section and commented what engine do you think it is, what do you think it sounds like? I mean, yeah, go down in the comment section, let me know what you think, and yeah, it's home. I will make more videos with this car, obviously. So thank you guys for watching till the end and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!